Got the alternator removed. Getting the injectors removed here in a minute. The manifold in a minute. Ah, this was a bitch. I'll just replace these. Valve cover gaskets. got a shelf there that I want to put hanging where the headphones are so that I can kind of put all this kind of miscellaneous stuff or anything really could be three days worth of clothes two days worth one day's worth miscellaneous items trinkets I just did laundry not too long ago so I've got this here I wanted to fold my clothes that are back there so I'm kind of just bunched up. Normally I have that stuff right here. Uh, I want to make a platform. Well, I want to take the rear seat out here. Make a platform so I can put my cooler down there. My, fr my fridge. My 12 volt fridge. And make it so I can lift up the hatch. And access this if I needed. So that this space is open. And then make it a hanging shelf of some sorts to put more clothes and things like that. Under there I need to put, make little shelves so that I can put my canned goods and everything else and I'm gonna start putting my battery bank down there for my solar panel. I need to switch my solar panel battery, which is a cold cranking amp battery for my vehicle. And uh, I want to tie it into my other battery, my main car battery. And I have a AGM battery on order for my solar kit. I also want to build a hanging shelf from this section of the roof where the light is for pots and pans and stuff. Um, maybe build a little shelf up here in the nook so that I can slip stuff up there too. Not really much that I can do in here. I already utilize a lot of things like magnets. Magnets are my best friend. So back here behind me, uh, there was a curtain that was on a elastic line that I could stretch back and forth and I've got magnets I don't know if you can see them that it attached to the sides I really liked it the only thing I didn't like was that it was exposed up up on the top here and uh, I was thinking about a cloth that would fit over it like on the lip the lip of it overlap it whatever you want to say um, but I'm thinking about taking this windshield uh, deflector and turning it around so the, the reflector side's on the other side and uh, taking two pieces of wood and putting them up here so that I can, I'm going to glue one, one strip of wood all the way across so that's parallel with this and then take another piece of strip of wood and drill some holes into it so that I can put screws into it so I can pinch this and make it secure without really structurally doing anything to the car itself but in hopes that the interior will be able to support, support any weight um, that I put on it I know it's not really structurally sound, but it's not really that big of a deal to me. In the end, I really don't know what I'm going to do with this vehicle. And I guess in the years to come, we'll just figure it out. I have some 6-inch pipe that I want to make a water holding tank with for my roof rack. So that uh, 
I can use it for showering and washing. I have a 12 volt pump that will be connected to it and a self priming pump and a switch but the pump doesn't really need a switch. The shower I use is a hot water propane tankless shower and the pump basically works for that if I created the holding tank so that I could pressurize it with an air nozzle uh, like a tire um, stem off of a bike it would I'm not sure how much PSI I would be able to put in that pipe but the tank the pump normally shoots out about 65 PSI and my tank only requires I think it was 30 PSI not my tank but my hot water heater in order for it to flow water through it and activate the propane to turn the element on and ignite it. Right there I want to make uh, storage for some extra solar panels to slip into so that if something happens to the ones that I currently have I have some spare ones on the shelf. Um, I also want to mount my tankless hot water heater on that side underneath it in a hinge formation so that when I am not using it I can just hinge it up and strap it in and do whatever's really needed to strap to secure it um, let's see I, I need to make two legs for my roof rack that's wood uh, for the middle because my straps that I'm using are kind of making the wood bow which was expected I knew I needed to do it I just hadn't done it wasn't that big of a deal to me at the time um, I don't know I really want to make all sorts of stuff for the envoy just so it's kind of set up for the ultimate living experience for me uh, but we don't know we don't know where life is going to take us so alright guys I'll catch you later